Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. I'm working my way through my inbox of requests from viewers for special lessons. In today's lesson, I'm going to respond to a viewer and show you how to import data from another source, for example, a text file. Once we have that information into Excel, perhaps we want to change it from a horizontal orientation to a vertical orientation. We'll use the transpose feature. And finally, I'll show you how to use the text to columns feature when we want to break apart an address block to have separate columns. Let's begin with the letter. A viewer writes in, Dear Danny, I get Excel data that is imported from a mainframe computer. When I open it, it looks like this. So all of the entries go across the line. And he says that this can be up to 10 names per row. Once he has it imported, he's saying, is there any chance of sorting it so that it looks like this? Yes, we'll use the transpose feature. But first, let's bring in the information. So let's begin with a blank worksheet. And we want to bring in data from an external source. We go to the Data tab on the ribbon. And in the Get External Data group, we want to choose from text. This is a simple text file. Here it is. Let's double click. And we have the text import wizard. There are three steps. First, is the data delimited or is it fixed with? Fixed with would mean that each of the fields are exactly the same length or the same width. We want to bring in text that we know is delimited. So delimited means that there's a character that differentiates the fields. The characters could be a comma, a tab, or a space. All right, let's take the second step. In this case, we have to identify the delimiter. By default, Excel selects the tab. Now look down here, the delimiter is the comma. So at each comma, it's delimiting the entry for each row. So let's unselect or deselect the tab and choose comma. Excel now puts columns in between each field entry in each row. Click Next. And there we go. Everything looks fine. Let's uh, choose Finish. And we want to bring the information in starting in cell A1. All right, there you go. Now, that was simple enough. But the viewer said, I don't like to have the information going across horizontally. I want it to come down vertically. Well, let's select the information. Let's copy it. Use Control-C, keyboard shortcut, to copy it. Let's come down here and right mouse click. And rather than choose Paste, we're going to choose Paste Special. And in the Paste Special dialog box, what we're going to choose is to transpose. Click OK. And there you go. The information that came in going across horizontally on the row, now we've transposed to have it oriented going down vertically. Now, while this is still on the clipboard, let me show you how we can do this in Excel 2007 in another way. On the Home tab of the ribbon in the Clipboard group, click the menu for Paste, and Transpose is right there. So there's another way that we can bring that information in. All right, let's uh, take the information off the clipboard, the active clipboard. And now let me come over here and show you another common problem with text. We have an address block. So in one cell, we have city, state, and zip code. Our manager has asked us to break out the fields. Here's how we can do it using the text to columns feature. Now, I always like to begin with a copy of the data. So let's copy it, paste it down here. And this is the data that we're going to work on. We want to use the text to columns feature. It's on the data tab of the ribbon and over here in the data tools, text to columns. All right, three steps in this. Once again, the information is delimited. But in this case, our delimiter is going to mean that we have to do this in two steps. If I use a space, the space is fine for Boston or Philadelphia or Chicago, but not for Los Angeles and New York. So the first delimiter that I'm going to use is the comma. All right, let's click Next. And we'll choose the comma. Click Next. So you see there's our city, but we have state and zip code over there. So our first step is to separate the city and the state and the zip code. All right, here's our city. That's fine. Now let's go through and do text the columns a second time. So we select the second block, come over here, 
And this time our delimiter, as you can see, is the space. So rather than the comma, we're going to use the space. Now choose next. Now the first column, of course, was the space that we broke apart the last time. So I don't want to import that blank space. And here's another challenge with zip codes. Rather than bringing it in as general, I want to be able to capture those leading zeros. So I'm going to choose to bring this in as text. And now when I click Finish, there you go. So we have our city, our state, and our zip code. And we can simply select it, move it up there. And we have broken apart the address block using text to columns. In this case, we did it two times. So in this lesson we went through, I showed you how to bring information in that is not Excel data, in this case a simple text file. And then after we had it in, we used the transpose feature to make it come down vertically in the column rather than horizontally across the row. All right, keep those letters coming in, and I'll see you in the next lesson.